Who doesn't love Hanukkah? One of the happier holidays in Judaism. On Hanukkah, we do so many fun things. We get presents. We like the menorah. We eat a Hanukkah gel. We play with the dreidels. We have so much fun. Here's a dreidel. We have so much fun. But many people don't know that Hanukkah, we're celebrating, on Hanukkah, we're celebrating something very special that happened many, many years ago. On Hanukkah, we light the lights because the Jewish people fought for light and good many years ago. I want to share that story with you. The Jews many years ago served Hashem in the temple. This temple was a source of light and blessing for the Jewish people and the whole world. It was shining for everybody to see. And the light shined so bright because the Jewish people were living in a Jewish way, connected to all the things that they loved and that Hashem loved. And every day they would light the menorah and it shines so bright. Its light illuminated and filled the world. However, sadly, this didn't last for long. There was a group of mean people called the Greeks that at that time didn't like the Jewish light. They didn't like it and they wanted to stop that light from shining. And the Jewish people were really sad when the Greeks came in, attacked them and said, if you don't put out your light, you're gonna be in trouble, very big trouble. And the Jewish people were scared. They said, what do you mean that we have to turn off our light? What does that mean? They said, you have to take yourself away from all the things that bring you light in your life that make you uniquely Jewish. The Shabbat, Torah, you can no longer shine your light for the world to see. And the Jews were scared until one day, a group called the Maccabees, a small group, a family, they rose and they said, we're not going to stand for this. We're going to fight for the Jewish light. And even though the Greeks, there's so many of them, we believe that if Hashem's on our side, we can win. And they fought. They took their shields, they took their weapons, and they went to war. They originally were fighting through the hills of the land of Israel. And they hid in caves and jumped out and surprised their oppressors, the Greeks. They did all they could, all the tactics that were at their disposal in order to win the fight, believing that Hashem would help them in the end because Hashem's life is so precious. So the Maccabees, they fought the big Greek army. A little bit of Jews fought a lot, a lot of Greek individuals. So the Maccabees, they fought against the Greek army. They pushed back. And they said, we're going to fight for our Jewish light and for the rest of the nation's Jewish light. And they ended up winning the victory and scaring the Greeks away. However, when they finally returned to the temple, they realized the temple was no longer as bright as it used to be. The lights were out and they were sad. And all the Jewish people were sad until one day they came into the temple and they found this small flask, much smaller than this, but this is kind of what it looked like, a small flask of oil a little bit of oil. And with that oil, they were able to light the menorah once more in the temple. The Jewish people took this as a sign that Hashem was on their side and that the Jewish light is stronger than anything that can come against it and try to keep it down. That's why every year we celebrate Hanukkah with a Hanukkah. We light the candles for eight days, symbolizing that this oil, this light, and the temple was enough for one day, but it lasted for eight full days. We celebrate with Sukhaniyot. We play with the dreidel that talks about the miracles that happened many years ago. And the biggest miracle of all was that the Jewish people remembered how precious the light is. Hashem's light and the light of their Judaism. And they fought hard that would never be put out by anybody. They won. And today we recognize that, celebrate that, and enjoy all of the lights that Hanukkah has to offer. Hanukkah Sameach.